Good Saturday to you, June 25th here, 2016. Full slate plus one because we get a double header in Baltimore as Tampa Bay has a double visit to Baltimore. They play at 105 and then again at 705 this evening at Camden Yards. Anyways, weather problems throughout the country. Um, you can see my report today at Daily Fantasy Cafe. We don't have huge problems. Um, the only postponement threat I put is Colorado at 15%. I think they're going to play there. Obviously, why the 15% risk? Uh, and then delay possibilities, again, in Colorado, Kansas City, and Atlanta. So let's just look at those games um, location by location so you can see what's going on here. We have the surface map from the National Weather Service showing that there's a front near Atlanta, a warm front uh, just east of uh, Kansas City, and then a low-pressure system with a front near Denver. Obviously, we can see why these three locations may see some rain. So let's go simulated radars. Here's Denver. Uh, this is for this morning. But for this afternoon, they are a, let's see, a 410 start. Here's our 4 o'clock simulated radar, 5 o'clock, and then 6 o'clock. We can see there's going to be some rain around. Um, there's going to be some dry areas, too. That's why I don't think this game is a postponement. I can see a delay at some point, but I really don't think there should be huge problems here. Uh, Denver is one of the tougher places to forecast for, so we'll keep an eye on it. But I don't think it's a huge problem Next, we'll go to Kansas City. Kansas City is a night game, 7.15 uh, Eastern time. So, wow, it's a weird start for Kansas City an hour earlier or so. Um, here's 7 o'clock, 8 o'clock, 9 o'clock. We can see a line of thunderstorms approaching from the west. But as long as this timing's right, the start of the game's dry. Most, if not all, of the game is dry. This is 9 o'clock, and it's still an hour or two away from Kansas City. So we shouldn't have a problem here. The only issue would be if something pops out ahead of this line or this line is faster moving in. Not overly concerned about in that in either case. I think in my uh, in Daily Fantasy Cafe I have a 20% chance of a delay late. So again, not a problem there really. And then Atlanta, uh, just going to have the, some of the normal run-of-the-mill widely scattered stuff that's oh so common really <clears throat> Excuse me, in the afternoon and the evenings in the southeast. Atlanta is another 7.05 or 7.15, excuse me, start time. Here's a 7 o'clock simulated radar, 8 o'clock. So we shouldn't be talking about any issues with postponements. If one of these thunderstorm cells would be right over uh, Turner Field, there could be a delay for a little bit, but it shouldn't be a big deal. Let's go back over to Daily Fantasy Cafe. Let's look at some good hitting environments. Colorado, obviously. The wind isn't blowing out today in Colorado as it was yesterday, but still the air density is going to be very low, and the temperatures are mild in the low 80s to the falling into the mid to upper 70s. So that's good for hitters there. <clears throat> we also have very warm conditions in Texas as the Red Sox visit, and we saw last night um, – there was a lot of runs scored, and I would not expect um, anything different today. Uh, another good hitting environment that stands out to me is Kansas City. We talked about how showers and thunderstorms will be approaching from the northwest. That means we're in a warm, humid atmosphere. That's good for uh, hitters. Um, Miami, San Francisco, and Seattle stand out to me as good for pitchers. Miami, the roof will be closed. That's always good for pitchers. San Fran, it's going to be really chilly. Only a hot, uh, temperatures around 60 for game time. So even though there's a strong wind blowing out to right, the air density is very high because of how chilly it is. And then in Safeco, too, it's a little bit chilly. The roof will probably be open, but it's going to be in the 60s, so the temperature, the air density will be a little bit higher. Um other than that, we should be good to go for today. Make sure you follow my updates at DF Cafe at Twitter. So DF Cafe right here at Twitter. And uh, on the forum posts, I will post any updates as needed as we go through the day. Have a good one.